The new SAT absolutely seems to love this type of question. I keep seeing it. They're, they're talking about triangles, but it's really a trigonometry question with similar triangles. It, it doesn't matter that there's two triangles. It's really just about one because of the rules of trigonometry and how it works. So what we would do here is just draw a single triangle. And FGH is similar to that. Okay, G and K are right angles. So let's put G and K down here where the right angle is. And the rest doesn't really matter. So we'll just do F and H. And then they're saying F corresponds to J and uh, H then must correspond with L. So I'm not drawing two triangles. It doesn't matter. Just put them in the same place because even though they might be different sizes, they're going to end up having the same trigonometry proportions. So what they tell us is that the sine of F is 308 over uh, 117. So let's do a little so ka toa to remind ourselves of what sine means. Well, sine is the opposite over the adjacent or, or over the hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse is 308 over 317. So the opposite of F is down here, that's 308, and the hypotenuse is always the side that's opposite the right angle, so that's there, 317. And they're looking for sine of j. Well, j is the same angle. And we just did sine. So sine of f and sine of j are the same. So it's just going to be 308 over 317, which is choice B. That's the answer. Um, you could have gotten that, I guess, just by reading it and knowing the, that f and j are the same. Personally, I, I really want to see it. Because I know that they could have easily asked, like, what is the uh, sine of HL or of, of L, right? They could have asked me for a different angle here, and I would have had to kind of rearrange things and maybe do a little Pythagorean theorem. And so I'm, I'm worried because the wrong answers to this question are not, like, very wrong. They're wrong because of the most common mistakes, misreading the triangles and misreading what they're asking for. So to, for me to see that F and J are the same angle is really, really helpful and it confirms that I haven't made a mistake. And it doesn't really take long to show it on my scrap paper, um, but if for some reason you can picture all that in your mind confidently, you could get away without drawing it. But remember, every question here builds towards your score and every question also gets you closer to the score you need to get to the hard section later. So if you don't want to make careless mistakes on something that you definitely could get if you had just taken a second to write it down. So make choices that are smart so that you can get the best score overall without losing points for unnecessary things.